What's up you guys, my name is Mac, this is Cherry Bomb Tacoma, and today we're going to install the Meso Customs Chrome Delete on the 4x4 knob. Let's jump into the install. Alright guys, so all you're going to need for this install is just a little screwdriver set, just so you can undo some of the screws and the pins while we take this apart. Okay, so we're going to do this in a couple parts because we're going to take off all the bezels, take the knob inside to be able to work on it inside and not in the cab of our truck. And it is raining outside so we're going to go work inside and then we'll bring it back out and put it all together. So you're going to start over here on this left side over here by the start stop switch and you're just going to pull right here in the corner just like that and you're going to pull that out of the way. And then you're going to work your way up and you're going to pull this off. Boom, that whole bezel comes off. So you're gonna start with that, then pull this off down here. And then now this is where, if you have one of the newer Tacomas where you have the newer, nicer screen, you have to kind of fight against this up here. You force the screen up while you pull down on it. So there you go, just like that. What you wanna do is kind of put your fingers here and then push up and down. And then you'll be able to get this out, just like that, and let it kind of fall. So it's gonna be easier with a screwdriver, so just take a flat head and push against it and push down and then do that on the other side as well. There we go. So you can see I undid the start stop switch just so that I could get to the 4x4 knob easier. Now let's jump inside and take this ring off. Alright so here's what we're working with and here's what we're trying to get on. So this is the 4x4 switch from inside and like I said it's brought inside so that way we have plenty of room and we have a nice flat surface and it's easier to show you guys. So. We're going to start from the back, taking it apart. It wouldn't hurt to have some sort of parts collection bay so we can keep everything in place. So we're gonna start with those two Phillips screws on the back. And this little piece come, is gonna come off, which holds your pins in place, which that's going to come off. Okay, scary. Keep it all in order so you know how it goes back on. And then you're gonna pull on these pins here, and this guy's gonna come off. And then there's that screw, the Phillips screw, right there in the middle to get a nice long nose screwdriver. And we're going to hold the front and take that off. Just like that. And then that should allow the front, this whole part to come off and the front, which is your actual little knob. And then this part to be careful with, what you're gonna notice here is this pin here and this pin. These are like your tension pins for when you're actually switching your knob. You wanna be careful that they don't fly out. And if they do fly out, that you find them because your four x four knob will still work, but you just don't want to lose those. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is by far the trickiest part. And it's gonna take some patience. So what we're looking at here is on each side here with the silver chrome bits. There's one side there and one side there. So those are the other sides of these. And so what we're trying to do is there's these little black bits. Let me see if I can get it to move for you. That little black bit, we're trying to, so that's fitting inside of here and preventing this from falling out, right? Like it should. And so we're trying to basically get those out and so I got I switched to my flathead here on my screwdriver and now we're just trying to get those out so this is gonna take a little bit of patience to get it out but I have faith alright so I just got it out and I kinda wanna show you the strategy of how I got it out so I ended up getting a second small screwdriver and I put a big Phillips head the biggest that was in the little kit and what I would do it's interesting I put this on here on the silver so that would be the equivalent of me putting it on here like this right and I put it on here and then I would hold it down to hold the pressure Then I use my other flat tip to get in here and move the pin over and that would keep constant pressure which then would allow me to take it out just like that also from here if you damage this for whatever reason you can replace that but then now not the chrome you don't want to put it back on you're gonna take your chrome delete one all right, so correction, so the tab slots are gonna go on the top and the bottom like that. There we go, much better. Oh, look at that, chrome 
deleted. All right, so once you put the black trim on, we're ready to reassemble. So take your little enter knob, make sure it's positioned the right way towards two wheel drive. And then we are going to take this guy, put it in until it seats. And then we're gonna take our screw, put it in the middle and screw this into place. And then you can do a test to make sure it's in the right, just like that. And then we're gonna take this guy and it'll line up with the pin inside so you can't put it in the wrong place, just like that. A little baby circuit board, just like that, kind of push it in there. And then this is what holds the pin, so the pins should line up. It's good in this process not to force anything, just because this is probably not cheap. And then your last two little screws. All right, you can double check again that this is working properly. And then we're gonna take it and put it back on the truck. All right, so we're back in the car. You like my Chacos? This is the easy part because we're just reassembling. This is the best part of any install. So this is working. We wanna make sure that we put this the right way. So you make sure that you have two wheel drive up and then just tilt and shove. And then you can just do a little test to make sure that two wheel drives at the top. It looks good. I know I need to get the Chrome delete for everything else, but boohoo. You're gonna take your plug Plug that in, make sure you get a click. If you undid anything else for any th reason, make sure that those are all happy and seated. All right, once that's done, you're gonna go up and you're gonna make sure you push this over here on the left side over here, push that out of the way. And then you're gonna have to move the screen up as you fight to get everything back in order. Yeah, there we go. All right, good click clicks. And then you can do the top trim. Give it some good slams. And then don't forget about your little trim down here. It's like that. Give everything some nice, good love slaps. And then what I'm gonna do is just test to make sure four by four still works so that I make sure I didn't murder any of the pins and we'll be in good shape. All right, so truck is turned on. We're in two wheel drive, throw it in four high. Yep, that engaged, throw it in neutral, four low, everything clickety clack. We're in good shape. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this install. The hardest part by far is actually getting the trim off. But once you get that done, it's not terrible and it's kind of fun a little bit. I don't know. Um, I like ripping my truck apart and doing stuff to it. So, but that's gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have some time, check out this video up here. This is my last fit video that I just did for an install as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Kind of raining hard.